This video is going to cover a basic project for VRChat, just like what your Unity project should look like or can look like. Now, you don't need to follow what I'm saying, but if you just want a project that lasts a long time and has very few issues, it's good to do it this way or a way that you understand. So what I like to do is, uh, so I'll just start with the folder structure. So anything that I make, all my avatars are in an avatars folder. This project is fairly recent, so I don't have a ton, but every avatar gets their own folder. And inside that folder, you would have the FBXs for the avatar. I keep a blend so I can modify it later. And a scene for that avatar, which is just this scene. I put all the materials in one folder, all the textures in one folder. And that means that when you update, you can just select all your materials at once, change them all to whatever you want, or because they're all in one folder, you can change the colors of everything at once. You can do whatever you want. It just makes things easy and under control. And past that, if I have, so my shader, for example, I just keep here because it gets updated constantly. So I just keep it in the root directory, the assets folder of my project. Anything I don't make, I put in the third party folder. So there's a whole bunch of stuff in here like Mochi shader or Shishi's shader. Like just a ton of stuff that I may use, but I didn't make myself. So I don't really mess with anything in here and I don't touch the code. <clears throat> Everything up here is for me to mess with. So if I have textures, for example, all the gradients that I use are in a textures folder because that stuff is going to be used by many things and doesn't really belong to one avatar. And generally, you just want to keep stuff localized to what it's used for, and then you can reuse that. So I put all of my scenes in one folder, and then all of their shaders for that scene are in here, all of the materials for that scene are in here. Everything is just set up to be localized so that down the line, if maybe my project breaks and I don't know what to do to fix it, I can at least just take out these singular chunks and know that everything is going to work even if I only take out this folder. And for everything that kind of doesn't fit or things that I just want to work on for fun or temporarily, I create a miscellaneous folder. So say I want to mess with mirror stuff or I want to mess with lighting, or I want to play with Shishi Shader. There's a folder for that. And I think if you just adhere to making things expandable and not just cluttering your project with ran random stuff, you can keep a fairly organized project. And generally, when you import something, it'll all be in one folder. So upon import of something, you just want to look at what you're actually importing. So in this case, it's my tune shader. So hit this first arrow up here, and you'll see that the entire thing is in one folder. And that's fantastic because when you import it, it's all just going to be in one folder. And because you don't really mess with this, you can just toss it in your third party folder. All right, not in this case because I'm editing it right now, but <laughs> you can just throw that in your third party and it'll keep everything organized because you didn't make that and you have no reason to really mess with it. If you're trying to download an avatar, obviously you want to throw that in here. But if you download a package and you see that there are a ton of folders at the root, don't just import that into your project. It's going to make a huge mess. What I like to do is just have an empty project. So I have an empty project right here. <clears throat> and it's just where I import things or mess with things. So I'm just going to delete everything in here. And then when I import something like this, for example, and it was, it, say it was in like a ton of different folders, I'm just let it import. So if, say it was in a bunch of different folders, like let's just mess it up on purpose. So I'm going to, Split that all up. And it looks like this when you import it. So what I would do was just create a new folder. Just name it whatever it is, tune shader in this case. 
and then grab all of those folders, put them into one folder, make sure there's no random assets floating around that I need. So you just click the assets folder and make sure there's no random stuff that has to do with what you just imported. And then you can actually just right click that and go to export package. And you should see only one folder here. If there's a bunch of other stuff, then you need to move all of that into this folder. So you would just export that to your desktop and there's no issue. Oops, just name it. Tune, there you go. And then once that's on your desktop, you can just go close this project and go back into here, import it, and you'll have that one folder that you can just slap in your third party folder or in your avatars folder or whatever. Just keeps your project clean. And I think that pretty much covers the basics of just keeping a project clean and expandable. Try and just keep everything organized. If you make a lot of maps, create a maps folder and inside that folder have all of your different maps. And if you create a lot of avatars, have an avatars folder, keep all your avatars in there. If you have any questions about this or any of the stuff I do, we have a discord. You can join that discord in the link in the description. And that basically covers everything, so thanks for watching.